In this video, I explain what is steam rate and what is heat rate. First, I explain what is a steam rate. Steam rate is defined as the amount of steam or amount of steam flow required to produce unit sub power output. Unit sub power output means 1 kilowatt. Okay. And amount of steam means that is amount of steam means it is a mass of steam. Okay. So its unit is the kilogram. Or either we can use instance of the amount of steam we can use the word that is a steam flow and when the flow is there then it is divided by time means mass is divided by time so here time is we consider in hours okay so steam flow in kilogram per hours okay so we can find out the steam rate by using the two way one is the amount of steam divided by unit power output unit power output means here unit word is used that means the one kilowatt okay Second equation that is the steam flow in kilogram per hours divided by units of power output that is the 1 kilowatt. Steam rate is measure of the capacity of steam power plant means this word is used to measure the capacity of steam power plant. And what is the equation of the steam rate? Steam rate is equal to 3600 divided by W net means it is the network and network is means turbine work minus pump work and its unit is kilogram divided by kilowatt hours okay so so equation of the steam rate is similar as the equation of specific steam consumption okay so here you see this is the equation of the specific steam consumption that we derive in the last video okay so final equation is 3600 divided by w net okay so here you see same equation is there and the unit of the specific steam consumption are the two unit one is the kilojoule divided by kilogram and the second one is the kilogram divided by kilowatt into hours okay so here this kilogram is indicate the amount of steam and the kilowatt hour is indicate the power output means how amount of the power is produced in one hours okay that's why it is mentioned in kilowatt hours here this w net unit is the kilojoule per kilogram okay so here you see this power output is equal to mass into network okay and the unit of the network is the kilojoule divided by kilogram higher steam rate means more steam consumption for a particular amount of the power means steam rate is higher that means the steam consumption is higher for producing certain amount of this power hence lower steam rate is desirable for a power plants means good power plants are required a lower steam rate higher the steam rate it's are not the good things now before moving on the heat rate i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist now heat rate so it is a similar as a steam rates okay in a steam rate what we do, what we study the amount of steam required to produce the unit power okay so here instance of the steam we can use the heat words okay so it is the rate of heat input required to produce unit power okay so this heat input is denoted as the q1 and the unit of heat input is the kilojoule per hours and unit power means it is the 1 kilowatt and its unit of this heat rate is kilojoule divided by kilowatt into hours okay so what is this equation suppose we written in the form of equation that is the heat rate is equal to q1 divided by w net or the, it is the unit power okay so this is the final simplified equation from this definition we can return then what is that it is a q1 divided by kilowatt okay and Further we simplified here that is the kilojoule per hours okay kilojoule per hours is divided by kilowatt okay so what is the unit is coming kilojoule divided by kilowatt into hours now further we simplify these equations okay so from this definition what we understand the heat rate is the reciprocal of efficiency means heat rate is equal to 1 upon efficiency okay so what is the efficiency efficiency is equal to the 
net work done divided by heat supply okay so here you see this is the net work and here the heat supply okay so heat rate is equal to 1 upon efficiency means suppose we supply this q1 to this downward side okay then it is w net upon q1 so it is the efficiency so it is a 1 upon efficiency now here we further simplified q1 is equal to heat supply and the w net is equal to heat supply minus heat reject we can also return okay and here we can mention that the heat supply minus heat rejected it is w net and this heat supply is supply in the denominators okay then it is the thermal efficiency so 3600 divided by thermal efficiency so this is the second equation of the heat rate now what is the equation of the thermal efficiency thermal efficiency is equal to output upon input okay so electrical energy that we produce it is our output and input is the thermal energy okay so this thermal energy is supplied in this upper parts now what is the meaning of thermal energy thermal energy we produce by using the burning of fuel means we can burn some mass of fuels okay so mass of fuel in kilogram in particular hours okay so suppose we can burn the 500 kg of the fuel in one hours okay so here we mentioned that is a 500 kilojoule per hours and we can multiply the calorific value of a fuel means the calorific value is suppose 40000 okay means by burning the 1 kg of the fuels we can produce 40000 kilojoule of energy it is called as the calorific value okay and this power output it is as it is okay so in this upper part that is the mass of fuels in kilogram per hours and calorific value it's kilojoule per kg so this kg kg is cancelled okay then what is the remaining unit it is the kilojoule okay divided by hour so this hour is supplied with this kilowatt okay so what we unit we get units we get this unit it is a kilojoule divided by kilowatt into hours so what this indicates it indicates the amount of fuel required to generate one unit of electricity means by using the heat rate we can find out the amount of fuel required to generate one unit of electricity one unit of electricity means one kilowatt power heat rate is inverse of efficiency that we already discussed here okay hence lower heat rate is desirable for the power plants okay means heat rate is increased then what happen efficiency is reduced because it is the one upon thermal efficiency so in this equation here we mention heat rate is equal to one upon thermal efficiency means heat rate is increased then thermal efficiency is reduced so if we want to increase the thermal efficiency then we need to reduce the heat rate okay means lower the heat rate is desirable for the power plant why it is desirable because heat rate is reduced and efficiency is increased so thank you for watching this video if you learned something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends